Good evening, good evening, good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Francisco. Hello, good evening. Oh, Francisco, I remember now that your, your name was changed, right? So it was in a different order. Ahorita lo vamos a corregir antes de que se me olvide. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So just to confirm, Francisco, it is Ordoñez first, first, right? Ordoñez Beltrán. Yes, teacher. All right. Ordoñez Beltrán. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, okay, here it is. Change it here. There you go. Awesome. That has been changed. Don't worry. Okay, so let's see here. Good evening, Daniel. Neftali. Carla Milena, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Mr. Ruano. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Sandra Yamilet, hello, good evening. Yes, hello, good evening. All right, how are you today, people? I know, it's just a pain I can't believe it. That's Sandra, hello to your boss. All right, so. Lo estamos invitando a que se incluya la clase. Cuando quiera, bienvenido. En inglés. En inglés. No, ahorita voy para el módulo 3. Ajá. Aún no. <laughs> little by little, I tell you. Yes. All right, all right. So we're going to wait just a couple of minutes to see who else is going to uh, join the class. All right, so let's see. Mr. David Mugia, good evening. Maria, hello, good evening. So let's see here. Okay, perfect. perfect. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay, let's see here. Just a couple of minutes more. I mean, just one more minute actually. Okay. Let's see here. Very good, very good. Okay, very good. So enough time here to see we have some people already. Let's start with the class for today. All right. So uh, welcome to the class. So today, guys, I want to start the class asking you this simple question. All right. Can you see the question? Hello, hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello, yes. All right, very good. Vamos a empezar con esa pequeña pregunta. All right, so can you see the screen? What's your day? Yes. Exactly, right? So how was your day? Let me help you with the pronunciation of this one. So that'll be like how, like this one. We're gonna have it here. How, how, what's your day? And it's a question, right? So it's gonna be like this one. How was your day? How was your day? Repeat it. 
How was your day? There we go. Excellent. So, who knows how do you say this in Spanish? ¿Cómo estuvo tu día? Perfect. That was actually good. And what is the possible answer you can give to this question? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta posible here? Mm -hmm. My day is the... Is, is tired. Okay. Could be. All right. So you can say, I had a tiring day. Like this one. I had a tiring day. My day was good. If you want to be positive, right? Uh, a nice day. Okay, I had a nice day. Um, you can say what else you can say here. Oh, this one I had a busy day. You know what is busy? You know the word a uh, busy? Compras? No, no. Ocupado. Ah. Ocupado. All right, I had a busy day. And if you pay attention, si ustedes ponen atención, ahí se, todos los verbos van en pasado, porque es como fue tu día, right? So, for example, el verbo have, hasta en pasado con de, had. So, I had a nice day, I had a bad day, I had a tired day, my day was good, etc. right? So, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right. Uh, Carla Milena, que estaba así, like, sleeping, all right? So... Hello, Carla. Tell me, how was your day? Hello, good evening. Mm -hmm. My day. Um, tired. Um, tired. Uh, tired. All right. Very good. Great, great. Nancy, uh -huh, Nancy, no paying attention, Nancy. <laughs> All right, so how was your day? I, I putting attention. <laughs> you can say, okay. I am putting, putting, in, putting, putting. You can say putting, or actually, it's better to say, I'm paying attention. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I was a day very tired, mm -hmm. mm, many work. All right. Um, a lot of work. Same. But it's <laughs> All right. A lot of work. All right. A lot of work. Very good. Excellent. So, super good. Uh, thank you, Nancy. That was good. So, just remember, guys, vayan tomando nota de esas pequeñas expressions porque voy a intentar en la manera de lo posible que se haga una conversación todos los días. Lo que sea de esas pequeñas preguntas así. Y ustedes puedan responderlo de una manera más. Eh, natural, cada vez que se les pregunte, right? Mr. David, uh -huh. hello, how was your day? Uh, I'm fine, teacher, one way, uh, my house. All right, excellent. So that was good. Thank you, Mr. Rano. Hello, Mauricio, how was your day? Can I hear you, Mauricio? Technical issues right now. Don't worry. All right. So let's see. Maria, Maria. Hello, Maria. Oh, Maria, are you working? Or you are in the bus? All right. No problem. All right, so let's do this one. And let's see, let's see, let's see who else is gonna be here. All right, one more, one more. Let's do this one. The next one right here. Very good. Oh, Mr. Francisco, Jose Francisco, how was your day? Uh, good evening, uh, my dad. I was great. It was great. Excellent. Thank you, Francisco. You always have a positive attitude. That's nice. All right. Mauricio, are you ready? How was your day? Mauricio, the microphone is not working. We cannot hear you.
All right. It sounds better. Talk. So how was your day, Mr. Rano? Well, oh, no problem, Sandra. I hope you can join later, all right? Well, now that we have covered this part right here, we are going to, you know, continue with this one right here, which is gonna be this. Okay, let's start right now so we can see the covers the, the class right now. So it's gonna be the class for today, clase para este día, all right? So thank you everybody for participating in the previous activity. All right, los que van de camino a casa, eh, please be careful, right? Tengan mucho cuidado y al tener la posibilidad, uh, try to participate, all right? So, great, excellent. So let's see what is going to be uh, this one right here. Okay, excellent. So their agenda for today, which is going to be uh, the warm up. So we're, like we were doing right now, and we're going to go and talk about the um, um, organization chart, all right? So we're going to talk about this one and the grammar for today is going to be how to use the ing forms after prepositions so let's start taking advantage of this an organization chart all right have you ever let's say this one have you ever hey you know what is that in spanish have you ever do you know that in spanish yes or no no Mm -mm. All right, so remember here, have you ever means? Alguna. Alguna vez, exactly. Very good, so you have it right there. All right, so have you ever seen an organization chart before? Alguna vez has visto un organizational chart? ¿Cómo se le llama organizational chart in Spanish? Mm -hmm. Organigrama. That is correct. That is correct. That is correct. And are you familiar with your uh, organization chart? Yes or not? Let's see. What's the meaning of are you familiar with? ¿Qué significa are you familiar with? Do you know it? Are you familiar? Mm, no, no. <laughs> All right. It means this one. Miren, estamos aprendiendo varias frases ahora. All right. So, ¿lo pueden ver en el chat? Can you see that on the chat? It means estar familiarizado con. All right. So, for example, si yo pregunto, if I ask, are you familiar with your organization chart? ¿Qué estoy preguntando? What am I asking in Spanish? Estás familiarizado. Con tu familia. No. 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 Mm -hmm. Organi ¿Cómo que se llamaba Organi eso que están viendo en pantalla ahorita? What's the Organigrama. Name? Organigrama. Entonces, ¿qué acabo de preguntar? Are you familiar with your organization chart? Estás organizado con, con el organigrama. Estás familiarizado, yes. Con el organigrama. That is correct. That is correct. That is correct. All right. So let's do this one. Um, let's just get some vocabulary here, all right? So you know that an organization chart, it's un, um, it's a very important tool, all right? It's a tool que nos ayuda a saber cómo está organizada, how a company is organized, all right? So también nos sirve para saber no solamente quién está a cargo de quién, all right? Sino también para saber a quien pedirle ayuda in case we need it, all right? To, uh, who can, we can ask for help in case we need assistance, all right? So, uh, let's just pay attention to the vocabulary we have right there, all right? So, el primero de ellos, so we have here, we're gonna put it here, floor manager. Everybody, please repeat with energy, floor manager. Repeat it. Floor manager. 
store manager. Hey, Anna. Good evening. Hello. All right. Good evening. So, a floor manager. Very good. So what is a floor manager? Do you know it? Mm. Eh, jefe de planta. Floor jefe manager. De planta. Casi. Estamos por jefe, pero mm, planta. Mm -hmm. Piso. Esa, that's the correct translation. Very good job. All right, so el jefe del piso, all right? Uh, do you know what does... I have a question for you, ahora de Spanish a English. ¿Cómo se dice qué hace el jefe de piso? Do you know that? ¿Cómo se dice eso? ¿Qué hace el jefe de piso? ¿Cómo lo escribirían? Vamos a ver unas opciones en el what chat. For? A ver, en el chat, ¿cómo escribirían qué hace el jefe de piso? A ver... Let's see, let's see. Vamos a ver qué se despierto ahorita. What do you do the floor manager? Mm, por ahí vamos, puede ser. What does the floor manager, manager do? Ok, all right. Alguien que le escribe en el chat para ver qué nos quede ahí, a ver cómo se ha organized esa idea. Who can write it, uh, who can actually uh, type it on this one. What does the floor manager do. Amazing, amazing. Luis Humberto, Neftali, great job, great job, great job. All right, vamos a ver here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There you go, there you go. Great, great, great. Exactly. Now the question is this one, all right? What does a floor manager do? Que hace un, un jefe de piso, people? Mm -hmm. Any idea, yes or no? No. ¿Quién trabaja no. en una in in factory, una fábrica, right? So, ¿qué es lo que hace el jefe de piso? ¿De qué se encarga? Do you know it? Mm, reuniones con líderes. All right, all right. ¿Para qué? What for? Para controlar los procesos. There you go. This is one super important key right here to control the process. All right. To control the process. All right. So remember, ayer vimos esto, ¿verdad? Eh, el tú al principio del verbo. ¿Cómo se llamaba ese tema? Eh? Verbo infinitive. Infinitive verbs, right? Cuando estamos hablando de una acción, en este caso, controlar el proceso. Very good. All right. Estamos en general, like controlling the process. Very good job. Very good job. All right, so let's continue with the next one. Estamos aprendiendo vocabulary right now, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so that will be safety, safety engineer. Repitamos, safety engineer. Ingeniero de seguridad. Safety engineer. Exactly, the safety engineer. El ingeniero de seguridad, very good. And what is it, people? What are the activities that this person does? What does the uh, safety engineer does? Dijimos que safety era what? Seguridad, right? All right. To provide safety. Excellent. All right. Supervise safety. There we go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right. So. Pay attention to todos estos vocabularios que estamos aprendiendo ahorita, todo este vocabulario, I'm sorry, that we are learning right now, because eh, lo vamos a usar más adelante en otras activities. Así que pay attention and write it down. All right, so let's do this one. Now, the next four. A ver. All right, is this one. I'm going to write it here. All right, so let's do this one. We, all right, let me see the mistake. How do you pronounce that word? Uh -huh. How do you think you pronounce the word? ¿Cómo cree que se pronuncia esa palabra que les acabo de mandar ahí? Mm -hmm. Yes. Maintenance. Maintenance. Maintenance, okay. What else? Keep. Oh, mm -hmm. 
All right. Yeah, that's mantenimiento, of course. How do you pronounce maintenance. it? Maintenance. Oh, but I escuché un traductor. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Maintenance. Ah, do you hear that? A ver, how do you pronounce it? Maintenance. Maintenance. Gracias al traductor. All right, so let's see. All right, <laughs> maintenance, maintenance. <laughs> okay. All right, so what is the maintenance, maintenance chief? Mantenimiento. Exactly. Buen trabajo, right? Very good job. The word chief means jefe as well. Chief, jefe. All right, so super good. All right, so we go on this one right here. Entonces, esos serían como los tres uh, principales, right? Luego tenemos el supervisor, que esa palabra is the same in English or Spanish. It's exactly the same. In Spanish, you say supervisor. In English, you say supervisor. All right, so, y, ajá, ¿cómo era la palabra? Maintenance, va. Ah, ¿cómo era, cómo era? Ya se nos olvidó, you forgot it already. Yeah. All right. Hay alguien que nos ponga ahí el address. Maintenance. Oh, thank you. Maintenance. All right. So, very good. So, maintenance personnel. All right. And then we have other words right there. All right. So, let's see. Questions about the vocabulary so far? No? Very good. Excellent. So, let's see here. Es eh, una pausa ahorita para poder revisar la asistencia. All right, veamos aquí. Quickly, okay. quickly. Veamos. Abner Molina, please say present. Yeah. Abner Molina. No. Mm, let's see here. Oh, Abner, I see Abner online. But what happens, Abner? Are you there? Hello? Any message in the chat? Let's see. Hello? Abner, Abner? Well, let's see. Let's continue then. Um, Alexa, Marcela, Cibrian? Present teacher. Thank you. All right, Ana Elizabeth Melendez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Luisa Espinosa. Present teacher. Thank you. All right. Um, Andre Pardo Camacho. Hmm, no, all right. So David eh, or David Munguia. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, so um, Neftali Medina. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. All right, Erling Castro. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. All right, uh, Irma Noemi de Jesus. Present, teacher. Thank you. All right, so Mr. Jose Daniel Castro. Present. Thank you, my friend. All right. Eh, Jose Francisco Ordoñez. Present teacher. All right, now, yes, right? Correct, the name. Yes, all right. So, Carla Milena Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, so who's next? Kevin Eduardo Santos. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, so Luis Humberto González. Aquí. In English. <laughs> All right. So, thank you. All right. Maria Castro. Maria, Maria. I see here a Maria, pero no podemos escuchar, Maria. All right. Let's see here. Maria, la vimos, Maria. Ahí está. All right. So, good. Uh, is it this one? Marta Marisol. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Ruano. Present teacher. Ah, oh, yes, the microphone. Uh -huh. No excuses. Yeah. All right. So let's see. Nancy uh, Maria Ochoa. 
present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Giovanni Menjibar. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Humberto Argueta. Oscar, Oscar. Let's see, Oscar. Uh -uh. No, Oscar. All right. So let's see. Eh, Raúl Mauricio Ramírez. Mr. Ramírez. Let's see. Yo lo vi temprano. What happens right here? All right. Ahí está Mr. Rano Ramírez. Hello. All right. Eh, let's see this one. Sandra Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Sonia Maribel Martinez. Present teacher. And William Giovanni Lainez. William Giovanni. No, William. All right. No problem. So let's just continue right now. Thank you guys for helping me with this one. Ana Luisa, si está right? Teacher. Huh? Teacher, good night. Hello, who is this? Who's this uh, one? My Raúl. Raúl Mauricio. Sí, yes. Present. Okay, thank you. Raúl. Teacher, yo conteste. Ana Luisa, yes, 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 yo tengo aquí. Thank you. Y Raúl Mauricio que está también, yes. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Let's just continue. And let's see what's this one. Okay. So let's just continue with this one. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we are going to uh, practice now these three questions. So you guys uh, have the opportunity to um, give your answers about what is this one. We were practicing this. Estamos practicando esto. Que es un um, organigrama, right? What is an organizational chart? All right, so why are organization charts important for business? ¿Por qué creen que son importantes? ¿Qué me puede decir en Spanish y después lo traducimos? A ver. Uh -huh. Repeat, teacher, please. Of course. Why are organization charts important for business? ¿Por qué son importantes los organigramas para los negocios? Para las compañías. Uh -huh. What do you think? Mm -hmm. In Spanish, no problem. No eh, yo creo que para, primero para designar las funciones de cada uno, ¿verdad? All y right. establecer la jerarquía. Exactly. Very good, very good. Excellent. All right, all right. So, very good. That's basically the whole thing right here. Now, people, what are we going to do? I want to trabajar in couples or, right, well, or in groups. I will say groups of three. All right. And uh, we are going to try to answer those questions. Vamos a intentar dar una respuesta a esas preguntas. Remember, es una eh, respuesta corta, right? So you don't have to actually um, give me a formal answer on this one. So it's just a short answer. For example, así como alguien me acaba de decir ahí. All right, so it could be uh, for organizing the company to know who is actually above others. Yes, hello, Mauricio, tell me. Eh, quisiera saber si podría mandar la captura al chat. Of course. Yes, okay. of course. Yes, of course. Okay. All right. Thank Antes de que nos vayamos a los grupos. Perfect. No problem. All right. So let's see this one right here. One second. Okay. Um, so let's do something here quickly. Eh, vamos a crear los, vamos a irnos a los grupos y ya les comparto en el chat la imagen para que puedan participar. Thank you for reminding me that. All right. Let's see here, you're 21, we're 21. So we're gonna be like, let's see this one. Oops, sorry. There you go. All right, let's see. One second, I'm creating this one. There you go, that's better. Okay, 
So there you go. So you can go ahead and join the groups right now. Ya les mando la captura de la presentation. All right. So don't worry. Okay, there you go. All right, please join the room so we can work on this one. Okay, so let's see, where is your group? Here it is. Okay. I'm sending this right now so you can see that. Okay, the questions are sent to the um, to the group. All right, so no problem. So let's see here. Vamos, trabajando ya. Oops. Lo mandó una sala ahorita, ¿verdad? Yes. Pero me sacó piso cuando me quise unir. Really? Who are you? Let me see. Yes. I cannot see your name. Who was talking to me right now? Hello? ¿A quién nos sacó de la sala? Hola. Cuando me quise unir, me, me, sacó, no, me sacó aquí de, de, de Zoom. Ah, oh, de Zoom. Teacher. All right. Eh, a mí también me saca, pero eh, cuando me ingreso nuevamente, creo que aparezco ahí en el equipo. Ok, cool. So, veamos, lo que vamos a integrar a uno, don't worry. Excellent. There you go. So Kevin um Sandra uh -huh. what happens with you ¿Dónde están ustedes? No, 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 cuando le di creo que no me agarró, pero no me mandó a ningún equipo. Okay. Teacher, yo ahorita conduciendo. ¿Qué quiere decir? Veamos Sandra. Okay. All right, no problem. All right. Veamos, por aquí se metió alguien. Kevin, ¿qué pasó? ¿Pudiste? ¿Were you able to do it, Kevin? No me parece ne unirme a ningún equipo ahorita. Ah, ahorita lo movemos a otro. Ahí voy a dar la request. Thank you. All right, all right. Y los demás, Giovanni, Daniel, Abner. Teacher, yo me uní, pero me sacó de, del equipo. Vamos. Giovanni, Giovanni, was you, you were Giovanni, right? Okay. A ver, ¿Dónde estás, Giovanni? ¿Dónde está your man for? Vaya. One more time, Giovanni. Try again, thank you. Teacher. Yes, sir. Teacher, ya estoy en la sala 5, pero es que como venía conectada a mi teléfono, ahí me apareció. Y como me acabo de conectar en la comp, no sé si me puede mandar a las 5 desde, la, desde este. All right. Usuario, All right. porfa. Es que me está mandando a la 4, por eso. Yeah. All right. Daniel Castro. Sí, correcto. Gracias. 
All right, you're welcome. Excellent. Super good, super good. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Además de una distribución de factores de confianza. Hello, hello. Hasta allí, ¿verdad? Libre. 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 No, 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 esa Luis ahí donde dice all of también es parte de la respuesta dos verdad eh, sí podría ser okay mom y qué es mom he's trying to say mom. que le traduzca eso qué es qué qué es mom Home. Ah, sí, mm. <laughs> my God, crazy. <laughs> Pensé que me decía madre, así le dicen los buses a la señora. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, if you have questions, let me know, all right? I'll be back later. No. Okay. Oh my God, Spanish. Es una, una, una pirámide donde está, eh, por lo menos, un ejemplo, las jefaturas de una empresa, ¿va? las jerarquías, creo yo. Ajá. Sí. Ah, bueno, en español después lo hacemos. Eh, representación es como una, es una es una como, ajá, es como como eh, ordenar ajá, eso es como cuando organizan no. lo de cada función de cada empleado pero está en, en el organigrama ¿va? digamos jefe eh, después sigue jefe inmediato, eh, contabilidad, facturación, eh, import-export. En inglés dice el teacher, man. Ah, ok. <risa> Saque lo gringo que lleva adentro. Yes, please. <risa> 
Eh, so, you, you were actually doing a good job. Estaba con unas buenas ideas ahí. Por ejemplo, aquí decía ordenar. Aunque la palabra sería en lugar de order. Porque order es como eh, pedir algo, como ordenar algo de comida. You know, order. Uh -huh. All right. Organizar sería. Sería organize. All right. Organize. Organize. La que les dejé ahí en el chat. Organize. Uh -huh. Organa or organize. 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 Yes, correct. So okay. organize the employees. ¿Cómo se dice employees in Spanish? Empleado. Very good. The employees. All right. ¿Qué más? ¿Cuál era la otra parte de la idea? Um, a department. Department. Right. Accounting. Department. Uh, general manager. Warehouse. Okay. Um, Very good. Excellent. Ven, ya ven que si you can speak English. <laughs> Okay. A little. <laughs> yes, very good. So good job. I'm going to go to a different group, and if you need help, just click on okay. help. All right. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Let's see. Let me go to this. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, teacher. Como van? How are you doing? Eh, eh, nosotros nos hemos eh, asignado una cada uno. Estará bien, teacher. That's okay. Por, por el tiempo. Yes, of course. Okay. Sí, right. vamos bien. Okay. Questions about vocabulary or anything you might need? Eh, Um, yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. A follow. Excuse follow. me. Follow. Follow. This follow. One. Yeah. All right. Seguir. Yeah. All right. Follow. Pronunciation, you mean? La pronunciation quieres? Uh, all right no, all right that will be follow like this follow mm -hmm. okay any other question si estamos familiarizados con con el organigrama es como podemos dar como un ejemplo porque o sea, no puedo responder solo así, ¿verdad? Y, Estoy familiarizado. Por yeah, ejemplo, like... in my organic. Uh -huh. Y the boss is manager mountain. All right. So, yes, y... you can give some ideas. For example, si tu respuesta es yes, you can say yes. For example, eh, my boss, the manager. Porque recuerde que el boss es el jefe, pero también tenemos mm -hmm. el manager, right? Correcto. Right. Sí, así, así, así lo diría. Exactly. Very good. So, yes. No problem. Listo. Awesome. Listo. En un, en un par de minutos, in a few minutes, we are going to go back, okay? Okay. Gracias, teacher. Thank, teacher. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Yeah. Y a las ruedas esa. Ah, Spanish. What is that? <laughs> All right. <laughs> You finish? Ya, ya terminamos. <laughs> Ahora sí, ya terminamos. Ah. Sí, yes. ya terminamos. Yes. How do you say ya terminamos in English? I finish. No, we, we finish. We did it. Exactly. We finish because it's just like we nosotros, finish. right? Very good. Excellent. So, uh, questions about vocabulary? ¿Qué tenemos las tres respuestas? You have the three answers. Pues con la última estábamos nosotros eh, compartiendo que es como una pregunta un poco cerrada, ¿no? Right, yes. It's a yes or ah. no question, all right? So, ¿lo conocen mm. o no lo conocen? And if you say ah. yes, eh, what do you know? Like, for example, let's say, Nancy, do you know who is your manager? Eh, uh, yes. Yes, all right. So, like, for example, que sería el boss de tu boss, all right? So, el jefe de jefe, and that's it. All right, or, mm -hmm. for example, do you know the human resources? Mm -hmm. 
boss. All right. This is like, you know, for those type of things. All right. So, or if you need help with, um, with a document, uh, who are you going to ask for? The manager, your boss, or human resources? Mm. The documents, uh, man, uh, the manager. The manager, de un solo. Se salta el jefe. <laughs> ah, you see, you see. All right, mm -hmm. exactly. Just to give you an example, right? Lo que podrían agregar ahí. All right. Mm. Well, ustedes son el último grupo. Ya con ustedes regresamos entonces al room. All right. Démosle. Sí. Gracias. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Hello again. Okay, excellent. So, eh, chicos, como una recommendation, right? So, los que no se puedan eh, un, agregar al breakup room porque están como oyentes, pues se recuerden que siempre pueden ingresar a un breakup room y participar en calidad de oyentes en esos rooms para que no se queden aquí en la sala principal. Eh, sin hacer nada o solo escuchando nada, ¿ok? Thank you. Ok. All right, excellent. So, well, we are going to continue with this and we are going to see who is going to answer the questions. Veamos, right? My first volunteer, all right, my first volunteer will be the first person who tells me, how do you say rojo in English? Let's see, let's see, let's see in the chat, in the chat, in the chat. A ver, a ver, rojo in English. Gracias, Nancy, la primera persona. Thank you very much. That's it, my, my, thank you, thank you. Yeah, bien, pay attention, the first person, did you? <laughs> All right, so thank you, Nancy. All right, so let's see, Nancy. All right. Con razón, nadie había escrito. <laughs> ¿Qué después de usted? Lo, no, yo, yo quería lotería. ser voluntaria. Yo Excellent. quería ser la voluntaria. Ah, okay, so I want to be a volunteer. Repeat it. <laughs> Very good. So let's see, veamos. Eh, Nancy, Nancy, select someone who is going to ask you the question. Okay. Um, to, let me see, please. Um, Mauricio Antonio Ruano. All right. Just read the question, Mauricio, all right? The microphone. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Um, question two. Question one. One. Yes. I don't know. No, no, no más la dos dice, teacher. No, no, no. Don't worry. Just read. Leela, por favor. Read. What is an organizational chart? Organization. Repeat it. Organization. 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 Así como te voy a poner aquí, mira, para que remember the pronunciation. Look. Léelo tal cual así. Organization. Perfect. All right. Ahora la pregunta one more time. Una vez más la pregunta, please. Um, uh -huh. No, no, se no, no, no. Mauricio, la pregunta la puedes ver. Espera, ahorita, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Number one. Please. Okay. Dice, what is an organization chart? Excellent. Thank you very much. Very good, very good. Now, Nancy, it's your time to answer that question. Okay, thank you. A graphic representation of the structure of a company. 
Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Google Translator. All right. So let's see. No, no, no. You did it, Nancy. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Nancy. That was actually a very good job. All right. So muy buena definición. Es una graphic design, you said. Graphic organization, you said, right? Graphic, graphic, graphic. All right, like this. Thank you, thank you. Very good, very good. Now, let's see the question number two. The question number two, it will be, pay attention, pay attention, people. All right, so the question number um, two, it's going to be for the person number three who tells me, how do you say blanco in English? Blanco, blanco, blanco. Right. Right. Ah, number one is there. Oh my goodness. All right. Jesus, number two. Luis Humberto Gonzalez, number three. There you go. Hello, Luis. Luis, Luis, Luis. Hello. All right. So let's see. Luis, select someone who is, go is going to ask you the question, please. Uh, I'm mm. Francisco Ordonez. Francisco, Francisco, can you help me read it? Reading the question number two, please. Yes. So uh, leer la matician. Correct. Yes, uh, we are a uh, organization, a uh, child import books, businesses. Okay, it will be very good there. Just remember, ¿cómo se pronuncia organización, chicos? Organization. 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 Y la palabra business, otra vez, business. Repeat it. Yes. Like this one. Suena de esta yes. forma aquí. Como business. Yes. Very good. So please repeat the question one more time, Francisco. Uh, okay. We are a uh, organization a uh, charge import for a uh, business. Excellent. Super good. All right. So now, my friend, please uh, read it. Luis Humberto, answer the question, please. Okay. Show the organizational structure of an enterprise, showing different areas, departments, and geological levels. Okay. I guess that things help us to understand how the enter how the enterprise work and what are the different authorizations lines. Okay, that was actually super good, amazing. I like it, so long answer. And very good pronunciation as well, all right? So that was very good. Good job, Luis Humberto, very good, all right? So let's just continue with this and let's see. Now, my next volunteer for the last question will be the person number five who tells me, how do you say, how do you say, how do you say, amarillo in English? The number five, the number five, the number five, the number five. Let's see, let's see. Number one, Anna. Number two, Daniel. All right. Number five, number five, number five. All right, all right. Hey, what's up with the rest? Uh-huh. Number three, Andrew, number four, Mauricio, and number five, Marta Marisol. Thank you. Hello, Marta. Hello. All right. So, Marta, please select someone who is going to help you reading that question. Are you familiar? Familiar? Oh, no. Marta, you are going to answer. Usted me la va a responder, pero please select someone uh, que se la va a leer. Uh -huh. who, was, who is it? Okay. Uh -huh. Cualquiera ahí. Are you familiar with the organization 
shared of your company. Okay. Bueno, Marta la leyó ella misma. All right, Marta, tell me the answer. Mm, yes. Yes. ¿Qué sabemos del chart? Del organization chart. Um, uh -huh. Solo así respondí nada más. Ajá. <laughs> Ajá. Y hay en el organization chart de su company, ¿qué, ¿qué puestos hay? Así como los que acabamos de ver. Hay un gerente, hay un jefe. ¿Qué hay? Mm. Y un jefe. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se dice jefe? Estamos mal. <laughs> Don't worry. Boss. Yeah, All right. How do you say gerente? Manager. Manager. Excellent. 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 And how do you say recursos humanos? Human resources. Human resources. Human resources. Human resources. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. So very good job, everybody else. Good, good, good job. All right. So thank you. Now let's see if you actually pay attention to this one right here. Veamos. Can you see the new screen? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Excellent. So, okay. So we have three definitions. Definition number one, definition number two, and definition number three. And then we have three names there. Safety engineer, maintenance chief, and floor manager. And we have to match it. All right. So let me help you reading the first one. And then I'm going to have a volunteer who is going to repeat what I was reading. So for example, number one, is responsible for ensuring that all floor requirements are met. Who wants to help me repeat that? Mm -hmm. Who wants to help me to repeat it? Mm -hmm. Floor manager. Okay. Hi, floor manager. That was you, right, Maria? Yes. Maria, can you help me to read the number one again? Okay. Is responsible for ensuring that floor requirements are met. Amazing. Great job. And that is what? Uh, floor manager. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Floor manager. Yes, floor manager. That is correct. Okay, so number two, pay attention to the pronunciation in number two. All right, so it says responsible for the supervision of other. Aha, ¿cómo se pronuncia esta palabra? Maintenance. 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 Very good. All right. Maintenance personnel. All right. So, is it personnel? Se refiere a lo personal, es decir, a los employees, a los empleados, right? So, what is that, people? El el paso, maintenance. maintenance. The maintenance chief, right? There you go. Excellent. Super good. And what about the number three? Number three, it says there, um, inspect facilities, machinery, and safety equipment to identify and correct potential. So that is obviously what, people? A engineer. Safety engineer. Everybody repeat, safety engineer. Safety, safety engineer. engineer. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, so let's see here. And that's the safety engineer. Very good. Questions uh, about vocabulary or the pronunciation of any word that you see here? Yes or no? Yes, the, for example, the words, um, the response, the first one responsible. is uh, uh -huh, responsible. Responsible. Uh, responsible. Wow. Very good. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Uh -huh. Anybody else? 
the number three uh inspect the facilities 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 with r it could be like facilities like this facilities ah, okay okay correct correct correct, correct. Anything else? No questions? Okay, no problem. So let's just continue right now with the next activity. All right, so let's see this one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we have another roleplay for today and we are going to um practice this before you go ahead and practice with the partner all right so we go on this one right here it says the instruction let's see okay um Ana Luisa please help me with the instruction what you see here please the okay Lisa mm -hmm. do your teacher read the conversation the practice with the partner. Very good job. All right. So, okay, I'm going to read it for you first, and then you are going to uh, practice it with a partner, all right, with a classmate. So let's see. Number one, it says there, hi, Roxana. Welcome to REX. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You will be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Great, great, great. Excellent. So, um, okay, I'm going to send this as well to the WhatsApp group. All right. Para que lo tengamos. And we are going to um, practice again on the breakup room. Please, people, please, please, please. All right. So, los que for ABC motivo estén como um, de oyentes, siempre métanse a un breakup room. I can say I like practice the listening part. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Yes. So let's see this one. Let's go one more time. Vamos a practice ahora la pronunciation de este pequeño um, exercise that we have right here. All right. So let's see here. Okay. One second, people. Okay, ahí estamos ya organized. Démosle people, all right? One more time. Ya les mando en el group this information. Join the breakup rooms, please. I'm sending the picture again. Okay. Doesn't appear good here. One second. Awesome. Looks better now. Okay. So let's see. Just making sure that anybody is alone. Number three, move to number five. Seven. Number seven. Okay. Uh, 
Hello, hello, people. ¿Quién se me quedó fuera aquí en los breakup rooms? Para mandarlo ahorita. Ajá, uh -huh, David, hello. Hi, teacher. Me sacó el internet. No se preocupe, ahorita lo enviamos con alguien. Let's go. Uh, thank you, Jessica. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to <laughs> excuse me, teacher. <laughs> Surprise nice to meet you. <laughs> My department is responsible for kit the staff of the of the plane. I see. I be part of the man maintenance department. Will will I be will be responsibly uh, no es este response responsible responsible uh, to you. Responsible to you. Okay, great. Our department work together do the mating chief is in charging or during your department you will be responsible to him. Great. Thank you, yes. Thank you, Jessica. Sorry, oh. sorry, sorry. Uh, yes. Mauricio, just remember that okay. it is no great, it's great. Uh, okay, great. Mm -hmm. Like, great, our departments work together, for example, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. Very good job. So you're doing good. Remember to practice many times, varias veces, right? So you can sí. actually see um, a big difference. I mean, you practice more, all right? Teacher, teacher. Yes. Y la palabra, uh, right. lo que usted se lo va a leer, les lo va a leer así como está escrito. It's okay. Eh, safety, ¿cómo dijo que se pronunciaba, teacher? It is safety. 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 Like that. Excellent. Gracias, teacher. You're welcome. Safety. Okay. Continue practicing, please. Okay. Thank you. Okay, okay Mauricio. Eh, empezamos okay. de nuevo. Okay. Excellent. Great. Yeah. Right. Our department work together, but the maintenance chief is on short of directing to the department to and be responsible to him. To him. Thank, thank you, Jessica. May I call uh, you if I need help? Sure. Okay, de nuevo. Excellent. Uh, I recommend you guys, verdad, que se intercambien los los roles para que practiquen eh, ambos eh, ambas líneas de cada palabra, right? Son ambos personajes, of course. Okay, All right, excellent. Questions about the vocabulary? No. Uh, uh, Rex, Rex is the name of the company. Correct. Okay. Any other question? All right, excellent, no problem. Uh, practice. Oh, yes? Teacher, teacher. Yes. Teacher, uh, uh, Robson, I see a people mm. Yeah, I see I'll be part of the maintenance department. So you have two I options. See. You have two options there. You can say I'll, que es la contracción, the I will, or you can separate it and say I will. Okay. Okay, so you, you have two options. Option number one will be 
I see, I'll be part of the maintenance department or I see, I will be part of the maintenance department. I see, I will be part. Be part. I will be. Okay. All right. Thanks. Exactly, go ahead. Continue practicing, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Mm. Okay, I see I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our department work together, but the maintenance. 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 Maintenance, maintenance, yeah. okay. Chief is in charge of directing your department. You will be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Ahí me, me trabé bastante. Ahora que nos diga Erly <ríe> las correcciones. <ríe> no, hombre, estamos bien. Vaya, ah, hoy voy. Perfecto, perfecto. Es que esa me cuesta la maintenance. Pero así es. Así como lo acaba de decir, así es. Very good. Ok, maintenance. Correct. Great. Okay. Wow. Practice, Bye. practice. Ahora, practice. ¿quién va? Ahora va. Bueno, voy con nosotros dos, con usted. Ah, vaya, vaya. Ajá. Vaya. Haciendo trampa. Sí. <ríe> no, para que practique. Está bien. Voy con Jess. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safe of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our departments work together, but the maintaining chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Bye. Um, intercambiamos ahora sí, Va, sí. excelente, okay. buen trabajo chicas good job girls <ríe> gracias right. teacher, ¿cómo se dice esa? my training, my <ríe> training. Ay, ay, mire cómo la acabo de escribir en el, group, en el chat, tal vez lo puede ver ahí ah, sí, 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 sí ahorita ¿trate ahorita. de pronunciarlo? my training no espérenme, ahorita, ahorita, ahorita ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. <ríe> Maintenance. Maintenance. Exactly. Very Maintenance. good. Maintenance. Yes, it ah, is. Ah, gracias. Grace. You're gracias. welcome. You're welcome. Super good. Keep practicing. Continue practicing. No problem. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Directing your department. <laughs> Yo bien. Okay. Hola. Hello. Hello. Hola, <laughs> uh -huh. So, ¿cómo van? How are you doing? Practicando yes. las palabras que nos cuestan un poquito. Ah, va. Volunteers, entonces ya. Yeah. Muy bien. <laughs> Tell me. A mi <laughs> Tell me what are the words that are difficult for you so I can help you right now. Eh, practicamos ahorita o como. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Um, hi Roxana, welcome to R E X. Um, my name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. 
Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety in the plants. I see. Paul be part of, of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our department uh, work together, but the uh, maintain is uh, <laughs> I give me trouble. In the child of directing your department, uh, you we your be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Uh, sure. No sé cómo se dice sure. es a la última. Sure. sure. Okay. Ah, okay. Sure. 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 Sure, no, eh? All right, con shoe. Sure, sure. Sure, sure. sure. <laughs> All right, excellent. Sure. So, chicas, buen trabajo. <laughs> está bastante bien. You're doing very, very good. Solo dos palabritas. La última que acabamos de ver, que es sure, y la de sure. mantenimiento. Sure. Ahí se las he mandado. ¿La pueden ver? La cual, ¿Ahorita? la de que les da maintenance. Exactly, maintenance. 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 Yeah, ah, okay. Super easy, right? Maintenance. Okay. There you go. Excellent. En tres minutos. Ya separada, sí. <laughs> All right. So in three minutes, we are going to go back. Continue practicing, okay? Tenemos three more minutes. Okay. All right. Thank you. No voy a hacer que voy a hacer voluntaria, ¿verdad? Ah. <laughs> ah. All right. Let's see. Okay. Hello. ¿Qué pasó, David? Usted quedó solo aquí. Yeah. Pero practicamos con la, con la compañera. Ah, va. Ok, no problem. All right. Uh -huh. So, in two minutes regresamos ya para practice con todos, ok? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. my. Engineer. Thank you, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plan. Okay, I said I be part of the maintenance uh, department will be responsible to you. Great. Our department work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if need help? Sure. Okay. Uh, hello, so silence here. You finished practicing? Great. Let's go back to the class. All right. Hello? Hi. Let's go to the class again. All right, everybody, welcome back to the class. All right, so very good job. La escuché a unos practicando ahí, así que subieron bastante bien. So good job on that one. All right, so do I have any volunteer? Can I pasar ahorita a participar like, with the, with the uh, role play here? I'll put it here on the screen so you can see it. A ver. Mm -hmm. Volunteer, volunteer. Hmm. All right, Ari, uh, Anna Elizabeth, and uh, who was the other one? Erlene, right? So you two. And Andre, pardon. All right, so very good. 
Very good, very good. So, ustedes están trabajando los tres. Andre? Eh, no, 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 yo estoy trabajando con Raúl. Oh, ok, excelente. Entonces, vamos a dejar que pase Ana y compañía primero y luego vas tú. After that, you. All right? Ok. Excelente. So, Ana Elizabeth, ¿con quién estaba Ana Elizabeth? Okay. okay. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to REX. My name is Jessica. I am the industrial safety. 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 David. David. Hi. See you still, my friend. You continue. Okay. Eh, ¿Con quién? Es? Roxana le toca. Ah, okay. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to RAX. Ya leyeron name? eso. And I'll read that one. You continue with. Thanks, Jessica. Uh, excuse me. No, Hi, no. Roxana. Welcome. To RAX. My name is Jessica. I, the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the main department. Will I be responsible to you? Go ahead. Our department work together, but the finance chief is the chair of the directing your department. You bear responsibility to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Thank you very much. That was actually super good, all right? So thank you, thank you. You're doing a very good job, Anna and David. Just remember, algunas observations right here de la pronunciation, right? So en el caso de la palabra gracias, we are going to pronounce that TH como si fuera una Z española, all right? So como cuando el español dice zapato, corazón, ese sonido se va a utilizar ahí y sería entonces como thanks. Repitamos. Thanks. 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 Ana, Ana. Thanks. 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 All right. Very good. Lo mismo con el thank you. Si ustedes se fijan aquí en la tripulación, me voy a sacar la cámara, mira. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Es la articulación that you need to have. It. Thank you. Very good. All right. So, y de ahí tenemos para las, for example, eh, David, pero no se va a salir la palabra great. Remember, it's great. great. Super good. Great. There you go. And this great. one that we have right here, which is this one, right? Great. And then also here, the last one, which is sure. 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 There you go. Excellent. So that was very, very, very good. All right. So it's this one. So good job. Good job. I really like it. So that was actually Super good. Just be careful with eh, those palabras que I mentioned. Good job. Thank you. So, Andre, eh, you continue now with your partner. Okay, with Raul. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, hi, Roxanne. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the Interstate Safety Engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our department works together, but the maintenance chief is on in charge of directing your department. You, I, you, I be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if you need help? 
sure. Great, very good. That was nice, nice, nice. Super good, guys. You were doing super, super good. So I think with those observations regarding that one. Eh, la apreciación de la palabra ingeniero. That would be engineer. Be engineer. 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 Very good. Excellent. And also the pronunciation of mantenimiento. How do you say that? Por ahí lo pusimos. Maintenance. Maintenance. Very good job. Other than that, you were doing a very good job. All right. So congratulations. Good, good, good job. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Excellent. Eh, una última pareja para volunteers. Let's see. Who is it going to be? The last one. The último. Y nos movemos a la next activity. Volunteer, volunteer. Mauricio and Alexa. All right. Very good. Mauricio, were you working with Alexa? O eran aparte ustedes? Hi, teacher. Oh, Hi, teacher. Okay. Mauricio and, and Jose Francisco. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, cool, cool. All right. Go ahead. Hi, Roxana. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I am the industrial uh, subsidy engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see it part of the maintenance. The part will I be responsible to you? Yeah, our department will to her about the maintenance chief is the charge of the directing your department. You'd be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. My, I call you Edith Need Hill. Sure. Great, 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 great. Very good job, my friends. Thank you. And very good job, porque aplicaron el feedback que se les dio cuando entré ahí a cambiar unas palabras, right? So very good. Tres observations for you. Yes, Remember, safety. Repeat it, safety. Okay. Okay, teacher. Safety, very good. And then you go with like, uh, together. Repeat it. Together. To together. 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 Very, very, very good. All right. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So that will be all. So you guys were doing as well. Super good. All right. So let's just continue right now with the next activity here. All right. One second. Okay. Excellent. So let's see. Where is it? Oops. Computer issues. Okay, vamos entonces to continue here with the next activity. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to show you right now a website where we are going to um, be able to practice and to get more knowledge. All right, so please pay attention. It's going to be this one. Me dicen si pueden ver la new screen. Yes. 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 Here we have vocabulary, vocabulary, vocabulary that we can use. All right. So the first one, please repeat it with me. Human resources. Repeat it. Human, Human resources. Resource. Amazing. Now the next one. Marketing. 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 Excellent. Marketing. Then the next one. Research and development. Research and development. Excellent. So, uh, the next one, the uh, number is completo sería information technology, pero todo el mundo le llama a ellos IT. 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 Information technology. Así más o menos como mi nombre, right? So Juan José, pero me llaman JJ. All right, easy. All right. So this one. Aha. La letra E. Vamos a ver, ustedes me van a decir a mí, you're going to tell me. Maintenance. 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 Mainten
Then oh. we got the next one. How do you say the next one? I can't, can't, I mean, finance. Get this one. Finance. 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 What is it? Finance. Right. Finances. Finance. 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 All right. So, Finance. vamos a ver si sale por ahí el Google Translate. Finance. Oh, thank you, everybody. All right. So, <laughs> what's this one? I'll put it again, please. Again, again, again. Finance. 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 All right. Excellent. <laughs> thank you for the ayuda. All right. So, good. Then, dispatch department. Dispatch department. department. Dispatch department. Excellent. And then, production department. Production department. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. So we have practiced the pronunciation. Now let's try to understand what is the meaning. All right. So let's see. Human resources. What is that? Exactly. Super good. All right. So then we go for this one. Marketing. What is it? Mercadeo. Right. Los que convencen a los customers. All right. So. Super good. Then we got this one. Research and development. What is it? Marketing. What is that one? Any idea? Development. <laughs> Yes, all right. So the investigation, investigation, and desarrollo. Desarrollo. So, investigation and desarrollo. Very good. All right. So let's see. Uh, el IT, what is it? Research. Tecnología de la información. All right. Excellent. So, tecnología de la información o en Salvadorian words, en palabras salvadoreñas. El que arregla las computadoras. All right, so okay. that's it. Very good. So then this one. Mantenimiento. 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 Very good. All right. So and, uh, then, all right. So sales. What is sales? Ventas. 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 ¿Quién es de ventas acá? No. Veamos. ¿Alguien de ventas? Anybody from sales? Here, here. Exactly. A lot of people selling, convincing customers. Very good. There you go. There you go. Raúl Mauricio de Ventas. Very good. Customer service. What is customer service? Servicio al cliente. Servicio al cliente. Anybody here from customer service? Atención al cliente. Again, the key to customer service? No. Okay. This one, vamos a ver cómo era este. Finanzas. Finanzas. Ah, no, but in English, in English, in English. Uh -huh. Finance. Yes. Finance. 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 All right. Finance. Thank you. Finance. Right, so. <laughs> finance. 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 All right. So, good, good, good. Again, the finanzas here. Ay. Ay. Who, who, who? Ana Elizabeth. Yes. De las que pagan, right? All right. Yes. So, yes, yes, yes. All right. Dis dispatch department. What is dispatch department? Departamento de despacho. De despacho, for example. Pero yo escuché ayer que unos trabajaban en Bimbo, right? So, ahí está ese department, dispatch department. El que de, 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 manda los yes. videos, right? Very good. Excellent. So, then, this one. Departamento, Departamento de, de, producción. de producción. Exactly. Los que elaboran, los de, they make the products. Okay, excellent. Very good. Va, les voy a compartir este link. I'm going to share this link en el grupo por si lo quieren hacer ustedes mismos ahí. Y si no, me pueden acompañar a hacerlo aquí todos juntos. All right. So, ¿qué vamos a hacer here? It's this one right here. Vamos a ir respondiendo estas. Miren, remember the letters? Yes. Va, esas letras las vamos a dejar aquí en el chat también para que las tengamos a la mano. Let's remember. Ok. Y ahora vende this one. It says right here, responsible for taking care of customer needs. ¿Cuál sería la letra que tenemos que escoger aquí? Mm. 
G. 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 Sería? G. Customer G. service. Customer service. service. Letter G. Very good. All right. Number two. Responsible for selling the products or the service. La fácil. Uh, I. Uh, J. J. The production. And department. 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 Uh -huh. ¿Alguna otra? Any other? F. Mm -hmm. Mira, aquí está la clave. Eh? Sales. Sales. Sales, exactly. So that's letter. What letter is it? Um, F. F. Very good. This is his. Responsible for making the product. What is it? J. J. Production department. Very good. Let's see the next one. Responsible for how a product or service is advertised and promoted. Palabras claves aquí. Advertise and promote it. ¿Sabemos qué es advertise? Advertise. No. Advertencia. No. Mm -mm -mm. That's a different one. Servicio. Promover, teacher. Ah, but this is promoted, right? Yes. And advertise? Letter C. B, marketing. Yes, letter B from marketing. All right, so responsible for hiring new staff. Aquí está, new staff. What is it? Letter A. Human resource. Human resource. A. A. Responsible for the company's computers and network. I style like computers. B. 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 Responsible for the office or building. E. Maintenance. E. Maintenance. Very good. Responsible for discovering new knowledge about the product, improving and creating new products. Mira, aquí está la palabra clave. Create new products. Exactly. Let's see, the development. Responsible for payments. Ahí le dijimos a Ana, ella era responsable de los payments. ¿Cuál department era ese? Payments. Payments. H. H. H, H, H. H. Those checks. All right, so very good. Then you go this one. Responsible for the delivery of orders. Dispatch department. Very and good. All right, so let's see. We finish. I don't want to know the cameras. We got 10. Oh my God, I'm <laughs> nervous. I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Oh my God. A correct, 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 correct. <laughs> That's a correct, correct, correct. Hey, we got 10 people. Good, good job, good job. Applause for you. Mia Mari. Hola. no tiene. Oops. So good. There you go. So let's see this one right here. All right. Now we are going to continue with this one. If we're going to watch a video. Este video nos va a explicar ciertas palabras que hemos ya estado viendo aquí. All right. So me dicen por favor si lo escuchan. All right. Cuando, cuando empieza a dar play here. Okay. Let's see. Hi, my name is Rebecca, and in today's lesson, we're going to talk about how you can describe your work activities, okay? And we're going to focus on one particular word, responsible. But the question is, what are you going to talk about? How are you going to use it? All right, just one second. Okay, so the point is, 
you can be answering two possible questions, or you could be talking about two possible scenarios, who you are responsible to, and what you are responsible for. And according to that, you will choose a different preposition, to or for. All right, let me give you an example so you understand what I mean. If someone asks you, who are you responsible to? They are asking you, who is your manager? Who is your boss? So then you would say, I'm responsible to John Miller, for example. Okay, excellent. Vamos a poner una pequeña pausa here, all right? So esas frases que tenemos acá, for example, this one right here, responsible for, las acabamos de ver en el exercise anterior, right? ¿Se fijaron? Did you pay attention to that? Yes? All right, excellent. So, pero aquí tenemos también una que dice responsible to. Entonces, eh, this one, it will be just like, for example, the difference. Tenemos el mismo responsible, pero tenemos two y tenemos four. Now, what is the difference? The difference is very simple. Así como estaba acá, eh, Rebecca, ella es Rebecca. Rebecca. All right, so she's Rebecca, all right? And she was telling us here that responsible two, it's like the person who is uh, responsible for you, all right? So, o tú a quién le respondes? Uh, who's your boss? Who's your manager? So, for example, uh, imagine that we have this situation right here, all right? So, imagine que Nancy es la jefa, all right? Hi, Nancy. All right, so we have Nancy es la jefa y uh, José Francisco es el empleado, the employee. All right, entonces, si yo le preguntara a José, Hi, Jose Francisco, who are you responsible to? All right. ¿Qué le estoy preguntando a Jose? Uh -huh. ¿De quién soy responsable? Uh, um... Like this one. Remember, the difference like this one, we have these two right here with two is... ¿Quién es nuestro responsable o a quién le respondemos? En el caso de acá que acabamos de decir, we just said, Nancy is the boss. En Francisco is the employee. Si yo le pregunto a José Francisco, hey, José, who are you responsible to? Entonces, José dice, I am responsible to? Nancy. To Nancy. All right, exactly. So, eh, Nancy está, uh, I mean, yo estoy a cargo, perdón. Eh, Nancy está a cargo de mí, all right? That's what he's telling you this one, all right? So, por eso dice tú. ¿Por qué tú? Porque es como like, ¿a quién le respondes? You know, hacia quién, all right? So, y luego tenemos for. Aquí sí, aquí sí podemos traducirlo como de que eres responsable, all right? So, for example, let's see here. Um, María, María Castro. What are you responsible for in your company? Uh, I am um, for import export manager, and sometimes I attend the customers. Okay, excellent. So Maria, right now, just gave us uh, activities that she's doing in her job. All right, nos dio actividades que ella hace en su trabajo. All right, so for example, Nancy, what are you responsible for? Mm, I am responsible for um, of um, <laughs> en español. Mm, right. <laughs> se, me, se me fue esa parte ahí. Mm, De ten calidad de datos. <laughs> All right. Quality of data, right? So very good, very good. Ok, excellent. En ese caso, hemos entendido que estamos hablando de lo que hacemos. Eso cuando va a ser utilizado, what are you responsible for? Es decir, de que eres responsable. Let's see, another one right here. Um, Erling, what are you responsible for? I am... I am responsible for the courier of the of the company. Okay, very good, excellent. Mauricio Rano, what are you responsible for? 
I am responsible and check at the email. All right, responsible for checking the email. Okay. Very super important so, right here. Okay. Tenemos que utilizar ING en, los, en las acciones, right? For example, okay. si yo quisiera decir, ¿cómo diría? Yo soy responsable de limpiar la compañía. How do you say that? I am responsible okay. for cleaning the company. Ok, mm -hmm. casi. ¿Qué nos hizo falta ahí? Miremos la screen. Cleaning. Mm -hmm. Exactly, cleaning the company, all right? Yeah. Siempre va con ING, very good. All right, how do you say, for example, yo soy responsable de cocinar? I am responsible for cooking. I am responsible for cooking. For cooking. For cooking. cooking. All right. Very good, excellent. So uh, let's see, let's pay attention to this one right now. All right, so um, Andre, Andre, sorry. All right, so um, are you there, Mr. Pardo? Yes. Great, excellent. Here. So what is the name of your boss? Como se llama tu jefe? What's the name of your boss? My boss is Oscar. Oscar, all right. If I ask you, Mr. Pardo, who is responsible, uh, sorry, who are you responsible to? Uh, my responsible is uh, perform maintenance. Okay, okay. very good. Okay. Ahora bien, let's, let's be careful with something right here. Tenemos que ver cómo nos preguntan esto para que no nos confundamos. Let me explain this again. All right, if I ask you, who are you responsible? All right, responsible to. This one it will be, right? ¿Quién es su responsable? Or encargado, right? Yes, and if we have like, who are uh, and then we like we change like the question. What are you responsible for? De que eres responsable. So, Mr. Pardo, now que ya eh, aclaramos esas two questions. So, who are you responsible to? Okay. I am responsible to the maintenance. All right, the manager, you said, right? Maintenance. Okay, excellent. ¿Qué me acaba de decir, Mr. Pardo? Yo soy responsable del mantenimiento. Ah, muy bien. Entonces usted me respondió la pregunta dos. What are you responsible uh -huh. for? Yes. Yes. Pero yo le pregunté, who are you responsible to? ¿Qué le pregunté yo? Yes. All right. No. Usted me mencionó una persona hace poco, right? Who was it? Entonces, my responsible. I'm responsible to. Who is Oscar? Oscar. Exactly. Super good. Buen trabajo. Very good job. All right. Um, Tisha. Yes. Um, how do you say uh, uh, the quien? Soy responsable, o sea, de, de quiénes soy responsable en este caso. Porque... All right, este quedaría uh -huh. en la categoría here, this one, de, de esta, responsible for. La única diferencia es que vamos a quitarle el what. ¿Y por qué? Porque en la, en la segunda estamos hablando de, sí. de qué eres responsable, es decir, qué actividades te toca. All right? Ok. So, in the question that you're asking, so we're saying like, who are you responsible for? Ojo, mira la diferencia. Aquí si te estoy preguntando yo, ¿de quién eres tú responsable? Porque estoy utilizando la pregunta, who? Yes? Okay. All right, excellent. Entonces, eh, so we got this one right there. All right, questions? Questions, questions? 
Mm -hmm. Don't get confused, all right? You see que se parece mucho, right? It looks very similar, but eh, it's actually, the difference is in what you're asking, in a preposición, la preposición to and a preposición for, all right? Remember que cuando uses la preposición to es a quien eh, tú debes de rendirle cuentas, right? Y cuando es la preposición for es eh, quien te rendirle cuentas a ti o qué es lo que tú tienes que eh, ejercer o que eres responsable. Vamos a ver. Eh, usemos el chat ahorita. Let's use the chat. How do you say in English? Eh, yo soy responsable de trapear. A ver, ¿quién? ¿cómo se pone a trapear, people? It's mop. All right. ¿Cómo me escribiría entonces? Yo soy responsable de trapear. Very good job, Luis. All right. Ana Elizabeth, good job. So I can up in Java double P. All right. Pero lo, está bien idea. All right. So very good job, Nancy. All right. Responsable se salió en Spanish, Nancy. All right. So. All right. Hasta ahorita que lo leo veo que, <laughs> que le puse responsable. All right. So responsible popping. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Um, how do you say, for example, yo le respondo a mi jefe. How do you say that? ¿Cómo dijo? Yo le respondo a mi jefe. Andrew está super good, solo te faltó la possessive, mi jefe. Very good. Uh, so this is my boss. Very good, very good. All right, excellent. So, eh, excellent, excellent, excellent. Otra, otra, otra. All right. Yo soy responsable de cocinar. Very good, Nancy. Responsible for cooking, etc., etc. All right, very good. Who is a cooking analyst, Beth? All right, so. Good, good, good. It's, it's la hora, it's the time right now. All right, so good, very good, excellent. How do you say, just an example, okay, an example. All right, how do you say, yo le respondo al presidente? Okay, very good, super good. I am responsible to the president. Ahí me puso Mauricio Ruano, I am responsible for the president. O sea que él es responsable del presidente. That's what it says right there. All right, so what would that be? Exactly. I am responsible. Uh-huh. I'm responsible. Two, okay, very good. President, all right, very good. There you go, excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, good, all right. So in this one right here, ladies and gentlemen, that's what you are going to check right here. All right, so to the president, I said this one, bye. Para mostrarles, para que no vengan a pensar ustedes, Okay, that's not true. All right. Vamos a ver aquí. Mira. All right. Very good. So that's the last activity. Don't worry. We're about to finish here. Okay. Just for you to have this clear idea. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. One second, I'm trying to show you something right here. There you go. It's just this one right here. Oops. Okay, excellent. So guys, please tell me if you can see the new screen. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. That, that's yes. Yes. Que estaban usando por ahí hace un ratito. All right. So, this is right here. I am responsible for. All right. Her. His protection. Protection. All right. Can you see the translation? Yes. Y el ejemplo que teníamos eh, before right here, el último que hicimos, right? All right. So you see the difference? Yeah. I am responsible to the president. Soy responsable to the president. I am responsible for his protection. Soy responsable de su protección. protección. All right. Excellent. So is that clear? Yes. You see that one? Está más claro ahora? Yes, teacher. All right. Very good. Excellent. So, in that one is like what you're going to say. All right. So, then I'm going to um, share this in the chat as well so you can see this. Okay. So, let's see here. Para que los noten lo puedan anotar ahí. All right. So, and then you go on this one right here. Okay. There you go. Excellent. So we have it like right there. Okay. So let's see. We are about to finish the class right here. And let's hit this one right here. So para terminar ahora, let's just continue with this one. All right. So pueden ver la presentation? Yes. 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 Ah, great. Es lo que estábamos hablando here. All right. So. Entonces tenemos que Roxana, like this one right here, who is responsible for keeping the safety of the personal in the plant? Uh -huh. According to this one. Jessica. Jessica, very good, excellent. And who is in charge of directing the maintenance personnel? Jessica or Roxana? Jessica. You sure? No, oh, Roxanne. Mm -hmm. Jessica. Jessica, teacher. Very good. Eh, who is Roxana, Roxana responsible to? Ah, muy bien. ¿Quién me dice cómo se traduce esta the last question? Who is Roxana responsible to? So, ¿De quién es responsable yo, Jessica? Ah, uh ah, -uh, porque dice tú. ¿Quién es responsable de Roxana? ¿Quién es responsable de Roxana? Ajá. Mm, así. Right. Um, sí. De Jessica. Jessica. ¿A quién le responde Jessica? Mm -hmm. Seguros. Mm, no, Jessica le responde. Uh, Roxana es la responsable por Jessica. Are you sure? Mm. <laughs> Miren. No. He said, thank you, Jessica. May I call you if you need? Ah, no, Jessica. Jessica. ¿Quién es este? Maintenance chips. There we go. The yeah. man. No, no se ve muy bien. All right, so that's this one. And then uh, we are going to go on this one right here. Okay, so let's take a look at this one and we just go ahead and finish here. Vamos a detenernos hasta acá porque ya es hora de um, retirarnos. No sé si alguien, antes de retirarnos, alguien que no, que haya entrado tarde para poder agregarlo en asistencia que no se haya mencionado al principio yo teacher André alright so one second right here esto lo vamos a poner my friend alright aquí tengo que me faltaba André y Pardo right very yes. good aquí me faltaba también Oscar Humberto está aquí Oscar 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 no no problem. De los demás estamos. Oh, William Giovanni. No, no, no. 
All right, excellent. Mauricio, you have a question? Eh, teacher, nada más una pregunta. Quisiera yeah. saber si el manual se lo pudiera mandar al WhatsApp o dónde lo pudiéramos ubicar para oh, tenerlo man. limpio. It should be in the platform, ¿verdad? Pero si se les hace más fácil, se los puedo compartir en, a, en el WhatsApp. Oh, por excelente. favor, teacher, por favor, porque lo busqué anoche en, en la plataforma y no, no lo encontré. Ah, ok, excelente. But don't worry, lo que hemos estado trabajando, eh, las capturas de los ejercicios son del manual, así que no se han perdido esa parte, ¿all right? Yo se los descargo oh. un momentito y se los voy a subir al grupo para que lo tengan ahí también ustedes, ¿all right? Muy amable, oh, muy amable. Okay. So we're going to stop right here. ¿Verdad? Los felicito. Muy buen trabajo. Me encantó cómo trabajaron ahora en los, eh, los breakup rooms, right? Con la pronunciación, con las ideas. You know, you are doing a very good job. All right. So así que seguimos trabajando. All right. So see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank you, Thank night. you teacher. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye Thank you. Teacher, no escuché la lista, la segunda. <laughs> oh, no, solo eh, verifique si alguien okay. estaba en la primera vez, así que don't worry. Okay, gracias. Bye, good Nancy. Night. Have a good night. Bye-bye. I'll see you tomorrow. See you. Good night, teacher. Have a good night, Mr. Pardo. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye-bye. Carla, David, Sandra, are you still there? Do you have any question? All right, guys, have a good night.